Hello there, welcome into the channel, Sage Centered Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. I want to thank you for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. So stay tuned for your messages. These are going to be general tarot card messages for the sign of cancer. So all of the messages may not apply to you because it's a general read. So do take the messages that apply to you and the rest let them fly. This is a money reading. Or I feel it's more of a general reading of energies playing in your vibration. You are going through feelings of misery. Right, so I feel like you're experiencing distressing emotions right now. Maybe things feel out of your control. You don't know what's going on around you. It's in your body. Energy is in your body. What I'm getting from this card is that there's a lot of changes taking place. Things are clearing out. Energy is clearing out. Very powerfully, I feel like it really has very little to do with you on a very high vibrational point, you know. I feel like I'm getting the energy if you should sit in the midst of this chaos. Say you're sitting here and you're allowing everything to just clear. I'm getting matrix energy, honestly. And you're just allowing what is to happen in the system to happen because really, it really has, it's just this system. It's not you. So even if you think it's in your personal life or, you know, it's really affecting you personally, I honestly feel like if you should just sit like a, like, 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 like a yogi would or something, in the midst of this crisis, all of the distress, um, people moving, like, I'm telling you, it's chaos here, but it's done through divinity, it's done through the divinity, the oracle knows this, all right, and so I just imagine if people, all of us going through this distressing, miserable time, um, if we could just sit and realize it's not it's not personal it's it's more it's bigger than us it's the system itself that's clearing i feel like you could sit here and become some kind of a master and and allow things just fall away from you and when you open your eyes you will it's like you're seeing the sun you know what i mean it has nothing to do with you it does each person individually have their own work to do but you i just feel like it's very it's greater than us honestly that's the energy I felt like if we could just sit and allow this transformation to take place. And then when it's over, we open our eyes. We're still going to be here. We're going to realize the system is transformed. It's just an eradication of all. I made a post of all like secreting. It's like detox energy. Like the system is secreting waste. Some people may go too. You know, I was meditating on the energy for a while. I felt the tension, the chaos, the misery that each person, each individual is going through their own stress. It's like, I got to do this. I have to do this. I have to put this together. You know, disasters are coming. People are after me. People are watching me. There's a lot of tension. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the energy. It's the energy of when Neo goes to the Oracle and he's dealing with so much because, you know, they've been fighting. So Neo goes to the Oracle and he's like, he has so much to deal with. But when he gets to the oracle, here she is. She's in her kitchen, baking cookies, smoking her thing, whatever she does. She smokes. I do feel like that for real. And But Nia goes with this holy heap of chaos. But here's, here's her in this other zone, this empress, the oracle. This is where she is. It might look like the oracle don't do any work, but she does a lot of work. She works a lot behind the scenes. It's the energy as if you wouldn't even look at this oracle, this empress, and think she's working. She's, she's dealing with a lot. I feel like she's also telling you to stand up for yourself and to be brave here. All right, in the midst of a crisis. And to meditate, like I've been saying, you're going to get a higher perspective or a deeper perspective about the entire situation that you're going to be able to just sit and allow the chaos and the ruin to fall apart because you are not the chaos that is falling apart you precisely you are not the one that is falling apart what is around you and what is unserving to you that is what has got to go just don't go with it don't make yourself the problem because it is not you you are the one you know what i mean it's all the agents that's got to go, right? Anyway, so the high, the, the high priestess, um, I mean the oracle, it's almost like she's literally in a different world here. 
and everything in her world is abundant and beautiful but she's able to see in to our world down here all of this chaos that's taking place here the tower the moon the ten of swords she can't see what we're going through so it's like um yeah i feel like the oracle can also affect the collective or affect each individual if she chooses to her path if she wants to but she's some she also just allows things to play out as they do and she has a bigger hand in the game than we imagine anywho so that's that message we're gonna be looking at what exactly this chaos is the tower card the crisis situation and the miss sitting with this energy for a while and i felt the energy in me felt like blocks like i don't know what to do it's like um it's like um when you put animals like rats <laughs> you put rats in a maze or something and then you start to fill up the maze with water or with anything that would trigger them to be in fear the rats would start running running and scampering all over the place so if you're not doing that physically that's how you are feeling energetically with this misery but the most i'm repeating myself the most comforting feeling i can give to you right now is that it really has little to do with you you're not a rat you know what i mean you're not a program you are the one the sun energy and I just like I, I, it's so amazing. I just felt someone sitting like this and allowing all of everything to just and to just wash away. Not you not being in distress. You're allowing the distress and the chaos to leave because the earth itself is going through like a purge. It's waking up to what's not serving. It's like shaking up. Oh, it's yawning, you know, and it's like all the thieves and the exploiters are being seen now and they got their they're fleeing. So you may see systems crashing, all of these things taking place. And it's because Earth is like waking up like, what? Who, who are you? What, what have you been doing on my land? <laughs> what the fuck is going on in the ocean? What's going on with these birds? Why they be dying? So people are facing this, like, it's like a karma. It's judgment. It's a Torah card, but it also feels like... It's judgment time. This we're in the midst of this crisis. Message for you today is to sit tight. You're not. You're not. You're not a number. You're. You're. You are the one I feel, and you can just be here. And I just feel everything falling away. And then I feel you opening your your eyes. Maybe I saw it in a movie or something. And I feel you open your eyes and you look around you, and all the ruin, the storm has passed. The flood waters are gone, and what is left? Is what is meant to be there and i feel like you are the only one grief sadness pain strife loneliness sorrow and 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 really and truly we're lying in the bed that we made something like that i'm leaving that there i think that's that for that